What is engagement and disengagement? Engagement is important for understanding active support. It means doing an activity or interacting with others. There are different ways to be engaged. Some examples of activities are reading a book, making a drink, swimming, watering a plant, brushing your hair. That's it. Well done, Stu. Other examples are group activities like taking part in a dance class, playing music with others, or playing cards with friends. Do you have that one? No. Here we go. Social interactions include listening to someone talking, waving to a neighbor, and chatting on a phone. Being engaged in meaningful activities and interactions contributes to quality of life. It's how we make and maintain friendships, participate in leisure activities that we enjoy, keep fit and healthy, and do everyday things around the house or in the community. Think about how much of your day you were engaged. Now think about how much the people you support are engaged. People with intellectual disabilities who live in group homes are engaged for about 50% of their day. This means that for the other half, they are not engaged in meaningful activities and relationships. They could be just sitting or standing, watching what others are doing, or walking back and forth. This is called disengagement. People with severe and profound intellectual disabilities are often the most disengaged. If a person spends a lot of their time disengaged, day after day, they are unlikely to experience a good quality of life and to be seen as an individual with their own interests and preferences. How can you support a person to be engaged in meaningful activities and social interactions? You can support them in ways that enables their participation. You got it? This is the purpose of active support, to provide assistance that facilitates engagement. Press the button. When staff use active support, people with intellectual disabilities can increase their engagement in meaningful activities and interactions, which enhances their quality of life.